Hi there! Welcome back to GoNeezy Channel. Jose Marino is widely regarded as one of the game's best managers, having led numerous top teams to national and European titles. He is also known for his acerbic and self-assured demeanor. According to the man himself, the special one is one of a kind character in the world of football with a proven track record. In today's video, let's figure out some facts about his lifestyle in 2022. Mourinho was born to Jose Manuel Mourinho Felix, who was known by the name Felix Mourinho, and wife Maria Julia Carajola dos Santos. His father would play football professionally for O Belenenses and Victoria de Setubal, earning one cap for Portugal in the course of his career. His mother was a primary school teacher from an affluent background. He has an older sister, Teresa Felix. Jose Mourinho started dating Tammy Feria at the age of 17 in Setubal, Portugal. Tammy was 15 years old then. They got married in a private ceremony in 1989. Tammy gave birth to their first child, a daughter, Mathilde. Born in 1996, and a son, Jose Mario Jr., born in 2000. After an uneventful career as a midfielder in Portuguese leagues, Mourinho moved into coaching, first as an interpreter for Sir Bobby Robson, a sporting CP in Porto, before gaining success as an assistant in Barcelona under both Robson and his successor, Luis van Gaal. Mourinho then returned to Porto as manager in 2002, winning the Premier League twice. The success earned him the move to England with Chelsea in 2004, where he won two Premier League titles. However, he departed in 2007 amid reports of disagreements with the club owner, Roman Abramovich. In 2008, Mourinho joined an Italian club into Milan, where he won Serie A twice, and later that year earned him the first FIFA World Coach of the Year. Mourinho then moved to Real Madrid when he won the Liga in 2011-2012 season with a record points tally, becoming the fifth coach to have won league titles in four countries. He left Real Madrid in 2013 and rejoined Chelsea but was dismissed in 2015 after a poor run of results. In 2016, Mourinho was supported at Manchester United. In 2018, after Manchester United suffered a poor run of league results, he was dismissed. In November 2019, he became manager of Tottenham Hotspur, reaching the final of the League Cup in his second season, but was dismissed towards the end of the season. He was soon hired by Roma. He was named Portuguese Coach of the Century by the Portuguese Football Federation in 2015, and was the first coach to spend more than 1 billion euros on transfers. As of 2022, his net worth estimated at $120 million, which mainly comes from his football career. The house is located in Belgravia, London. It was purchased at $33 million by Jose. This fabulous six-bedroom luxury Belgravia townhouse in the heart of Belgravia became former Chelsea manager Jose Mourinho's London Pat and is owned by a Chelsea fan, 
who rented it to the club for 4,000 euros per week. The first car in this collection is 612 Scaffietti, which was worth $300,000. This car was bought for Jose by the owner of Chelsea FC, Roman Abramovich. He often drove it during the time working it into Milan. The second car he has is Jaguar at Pace which had a price tag of $65,000. Becoming the face of British car manufacturer Jaguar, Mourinho of course, is seen behind the wheel of this car regularly. The next car he owns Aston Martin Rapid, which he purchased at $320,000. It was considered a reward for himself after a perfect season in 2010. Jose Mourinho was a physical education teacher in Lisbon, Portugal, and a number of primary schools, helping children with different abilities play football before he became the world-famous manager that he is now. Until he arrived, no girls would want to do PE, but under Jose, no one was taking sick leave anymore, one of his former pupils said. Jose Mourinho has a habit that he treats himself to a luxury new watch every time he was a piece of civil wear. Before the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals in 2005, Mourinho mischievously snuck into the Chelsea dressing room in a laundry bin to deliver his team talk because the UEFA has slapped a stadium ban on him. And that's all for our video today. I hope you find this interesting. If you have any questions or recommendations, leave a comment in the section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.